never seen it. Lovely to see Hello, you. Hello, well, Game show guru. Oh, hi. But over uh, selling over 10 million books and worldwide for his uh, thrilling series, The Thursday Murder Club, is now undoubtedly the king of crime. And as he prepares to release his fourth instalment, Richard Osman joins us now. Good morning, morning to Richard. you. Morning, Richard. It's so funny because the majority of people watching this will go, the only thing I need to know about this interview is the book is out on Thursday because they'll know exactly <laughs> what we're talking about. This is it. It's been long awaited and they're ready for mm. it. For anyone that's been hiding yes. under a rock, we should just explain because the story was inspired a little bit by your mum. Yeah. And really it's a story about friendship, it's a it's a thriller, but then it's got a lot of comedy. It's got yeah. real heart, I think, is what people yes. love. It's got heart and murders, and that's what British people like, <laughs> yeah. It's about... It's it, it's the fourth instalment. It's about four people who meet in a retirement village. They're all in their late 70s, early yeah. 80s. One is a former spy, one is a former trades union official, is a former nurse and a former psychiatrist. They're unlikely friends, mm -hmm. and they solve murders. But as you say, there's laughs in there, yeah. there's sadness in there, there's tears in there, but there's also murders. And, yeah, it's, it's the fourth one. Um, I think it might be the best one. I'm certainly you. incredibly proud of it. It's quite emotional, this one, but still, you know, it's still the same people that, that we know and love. But it's, Rich, um, it's going great. It's so prolific, because I, I think it feels like a heartbeat ago when I interviewed you last, I think, mm. on the radio for, for The Bullet and the Mist. So, um, how long did this one take to write? Uh, has it been in a locker for a while? And well, then, yeah. and where did you want to take the characters with this one? Well, I do one a year. That's the idea, you bring one out in September, because, you know, I'm from a TV background, yeah. so if you do something people like, you want to, you know, people people would like it if I bought one out every six months, yeah. which I can't do because it's, you know, it uh, they do take a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I love, I absolutely love the four characters. And this one, I really put them through the mill. There's drug smugglers, there's art forgers, there's romance fraud, there's all sorts of things going on in this one. Uh, but yeah, it's essentially it takes all of that year. That's why I don't do telly anymore. I haven't yeah. got time. But for this sort of lovely busy thing. being a successful author. I know author. I need some forest sound baths. That's what <laughs> I need. But it must be so much fun to take for when you, you know, you've got this vision for your characters when you do the first book. And obviously it takes off so well. And then you, you're kind of, I guess, playing in the sandpit as to wait. And then you can really kind of embellish them and, you know, make them so much more well-rounded. Do you have an idea as to who these people were when you first started? Yeah, Are they pretty, different pretty... people now from when you started? Uh, not, not massively. They're, they're sort of the same. But, of course, when, when you write something, people come and talk to you about the characters. Mm. Lots of people love Joyce. He writes a diary through the book. Uh, and we just got these tote bags called What Would Joyce Do? Which is a very good question for life. Um, so, you know, I, I tend to uh, find myself identifying more and more with one or other of them. So yeah. Joyce is sort of like my mum. I'm a bit like Ibrahim, who's very sort of stats-based, quite nerdy. Yeah. Uh, Ron, who's a, who's a trade union official, is a bit like my grandfather. Huh. So, you know, I kind of, I kind of knew them, and, but taking them, giving them new adventures and, and seeing how people respond to them is, is a real treat. Well, we see a, a different side to, to Elizabeth. So mm. Elizabeth, um, in all the other books, you know, sort of ex-spy, you know, she's one of the most dominant characters, yeah. really. And then this time you see her husband, yes. Stephen, and he's been suffering with dementia, and a, and a large part of the plot is actually looking at her story from, from yeah. that viewpoint. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I have a lot of fun with these characters and, and, and the joys of their new adventures. And so I, I try and tell the truth about it as well. And when you're in older age, you're around grief a lot. Dementia is a huge thing. Both mm. my grandparents passed away um, and had okay. dementia for a long time before, but, uh, before they died. Uh, and so Stephen, who's Elizabeth's um, husband, right from the start he's had dementia. I've tried to write it about him as, a, you know, as, um, as genuinely as I can. And the Alzheimer's Society, I was talking to them, they said, if you've met one person with dementia, you've met one person with dementia. Yeah. Everyone experiences it differently. Every family experiences it differently. So I've tried to write it as honestly as I can, and so far people are responding to it yeah. in a very, very positive way. And he's such a wonderful character, yeah. Stephen, you know, and you, you see how much life he has. And it, it's... Uh, there, there are emotional parts in, yeah, in, in this but that, that people are responding to in a, in, a, in a good way, I think. And you're resting the series for a while, then. Yes. So... Already you've got the next series mm. lined up. What can you tell us about that? That's the idea, yeah. I think by the end of this book, they need a year off. So yeah. I'm giving them a year off. They will come back, I promise you that. They're not, they're not going anywhere. They'll come back. The next one is, is, is about a, a, a father-in-law and a daughter-in-law. The father-in-law is a small-time investigator who lives in the New Forest who doesn't want to go anywhere. He just likes looking for lost cats. He doesn't even want to go into <laughs> Southampton, right? He's done with all of that. And his daughter-in-law <laughs> is a close protection officer who looks after billionaires and is always on private yachts mm -hmm. and in you know, Dubai and the Bahamas. And she gets in trouble and the only person she can send for 
is her father-in-law, who he does not want to be on a private jet. <laughs> yeah. He really, really doesn't. And so the, the two of them sort of join forces as a, as a detective agent. Perhaps for you to start something yeah. new and kind of meet some new characters. Exactly, kind of scary, but it's, yeah, is it, it, it's, scary? it's lovely. Well, it must be scary when these have been so successful. Yeah. So people are always going, oh, what's he got now then? No, Can he do it again? And it's like, well, you clearly love doing it, yeah. which is a bonus. Exactly, you have to change, though. You know, you have to, you have to change before people get bored. You have to kind of do something new. And, you know, I did want to write about different, you know, there's certain things that the Thursday Murder Club can't do. Mm. You know, they can't really jump out of helicopters and yeah. shoot people in warehouses, right? Those are, whereas in this new book, you know, much more sort of Da Vinci Code type vibe to it, mm. where actually there can be a language. lot of adventure. Have you finished it? Oh my God, I wish, <laughs> I wish I'd finished <laughs> where it. Where are you? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about 20,000 words through, of, uh, so I'm, I'm maybe a fifth, a fifth of the way through. Fifth of the way through. Yeah, some, something like that. Wow, but it's, um, right. yeah, I like the characters at the moment. It's all about characters, these books. Oh, good. Well, um, we know that within this book, although they're being rested for a while, there's been a through threads from the previous three books that mm. all get tied up here. Yes, so I think everybody will be left very satisfied. I think so. I think anyone who's enjoyed the first three will, uh, will absolutely love yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so here it is. This is it. Uh, the Last Devil to Die. And that is out on Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, it's so lovely to see you. Oh, Thank you. you too. Thank good you very luck. much. Good luck with this. Yeah, the next one.